In this first FluCalc video, I'll demonstrate how to prepare to run the FluCalc program in CLAN to compute fluency behaviors. You can read about FluCalc in the CLAN manual, in the SLP guide to CLAN, and in other training manuals at the TalkBank, Childs, and Fluency websites. Specifically in this video, I will show how to set up the command to analyze a speech sample to determine its fluency characteristics, including the frequency and proportion of stutter-like as well as typical disfluencies. It will also compute the weighted disfluency score developed by Ehud Yairi and Nikki Ambrose to distinguish typical from stuttered speech. Now you can run FluCalc on any file that you've created to analyze language skills in an adult or child. We will use a file that has been transcribed in chat and coded for fluency behaviors using the ones listed in the chat manual and SLP guide to CLAN. As you'll see, it's here in my chat files folder, and I'll open it to show you that it already has a percent MOR tier underneath each of the main speaker tiers. If your file does not yet have a percent MOR tier, please review that screencast and then come back to this one because that's needed for running the KidEval command. You can also see here on line 17 an example of the coding for fluency behaviors. Okay, so we'll go to the clan menu to Windows and select Command. I'll go to the Programs drop down menu and select FluCalc. This program does not have any preset options, so I need to specify which speaker I want to compute fluency values for. In this case, it is the child. So next to the FluCalc command, I type plus T star CHI for the child tiers. And now I click the File In button so I can navigate to where my file is on my desktop. So I'll double click that. It's in my chat files folder so I'll double click that and now I'll click add and see the file move to the list of input files to be analyzed. So now I click done. Now I just press run. The program will run and tell me that it has produced a file with the same name as my input file ending in XLS. I can triple click on this output file here, the XLS file, to get to the spreadsheet with the results. This spreadsheet will also be in the folder where my transcript is located. And just a heads up, if you work on a PC, you may get an error message when you try to open the clan spreadsheet. Don't worry, just keep clicking yes for options that appear and then click finish and you'll wind up opening the spreadsheet in Excel. Now I'll triple click here and we get the spreadsheet. Once you open the spreadsheet, be sure to save it with the XLSX extension because CLAN creates it as a text file. So I'll go up here to File, Save As, and then I'll go down here to the Format drop-down menu, scroll up to Excel Workbook, Dot .xlsx, select that, click Save, and in the next screencast we will examine the details of the spreadsheet. 